worms that gather silt around themselves and make a cocoon of sorts and they live here inhabiting the cage and they're also on the oysters. Uh, here's some again look for the small strings these small brown strings are mud tube worms here's a bunch right here and there's a, a large worm that's a different worm that's called a clam worm. Is so, it a predator? Or no none of these worms hurt oysters the mud tube worms, the clam worms, they just live with the oysters. They're part of the ecology. There is a flatworm. I don't have one right here, but if a flatworm were right on this shell, the flatworm can crawl into the spat shell and eat the spat. It's a worm about the size of that circle I just made with my pencil. A flatworm is flat, of course. It slithers in, eats the spat, and kills it. If the spat is dead from a flatworm, you can flip the shell up and you'll often find a flat worm nestled inside the dead spat. Okay. So do the um, worms, what kind of an impact do they have on um, the water quality? I mean, are they helping or are they hurting? All these mud tube worms are actually beneficial uh, to the ecology. All these worms filter the water. Uh, they help remove algae and stuff. Uh, so uh, they're, they're good. Now, the worms maybe aren't so good for you, the oyster grower, because they add a lot of weight to this shell and next shell, etc. They add a lot of weight to the cage. So if you think your cage is too heavy, one thing you could do is hose it off. You could even scrub it with a brush uh, to remove a lot of the worms. That could remove five pounds from your cage. All right, outstanding. Thank you very much.